Welcome to Core Facts, where we're always short on time and big on science. I'm Brian Campbell. Today's question is, how do volcanoes erupt? Deep within the earth, it is so hot that some rocks slowly melt and become a thick, flowing substance called magma. Because it is lighter than the solid rock around it, magma rises and collects in magma chambers. Eventually, some of the magma pushes through vents and fissures in the Earth's surface. A volcanic eruption occurs. Magma that has erupted is called lava. Some volcanic eruptions are explosive, and others are not. How explosive an eruption is depends on how runny or sticky the magma is. If magma is thin and runny, gases can easily escape from it. When this type of magma erupts, it flows out of the volcano. Lava flows rarely kill people because they move slowly enough for people to get out of their way. Lava flows, however, can cause considerable destruction to buildings in their path. If magma is thick and sticky, gases cannot escape easily. Pressure builds up until the gases escape violently and explode. In this type of eruption, the magma blasts into the air and breaks apart into pieces called tephra. Tephra can range in size from tiny particles of ash to house-sized boulders. Explosive volcanic eruptions can be dangerous and deadly. They can blast out clouds of hot tephra from the side or top of a volcano. These fiery clouds race down mountainsides, destroying almost everything in their path. Ash erupted into the sky falls back to earth like powdery snow, but snow that won't melt. If thick enough, Blankets of ash can suffocate plants, animals, and humans. When hot volcanic materials mixed with water from streams or melted snow and ice, mud flows form. Mud flows have buried entire communities located near erupting volcanoes. Because there may be hundreds or thousands of years between volcanic eruptions, people may not be aware of a volcano's dangers. When Mount St. Helens in the state of Washington erupted in 1980, it had not erupted for 123 years. Most people thought Mount St. Helens was a beautiful, peaceful mountain and not a dangerous volcano. And now you know. Join us again every week for a new core fact. For other core facts, or for CoreCast, our in-depth science podcast, go to usgs.gov slash podcasts. If you'd like to have a question featured on our show, give us an email at corefax at usgs.gov or a phone call at 703-648-5600. Remember, long-distance fees do apply. Corefax is a product of the U.S. Geological Survey Department of the Interior.